Welcome. We are Rihanna and Massa, classical pianists and owners of the piano boat. Join us as we cruise the English waterways, making music along the way. We did promise you an update on this room. Um, in the last video, we talked about how the wall was a little bit bare, so we were hoping to fill it with something, and we have done that now. So we have we were in touch with uh, Julie Weir from We're on the Move because you probably know she's an artist and she does the most amazing work. So we got three things from her. One was her famous wide beam canal map, and we also got two of her beautiful paintings. So as part of the ongoing boat improvement, I've been busy putting up photos and things, all the frames that you might have seen some of them already, um, all of them, each individual ones, all done by me. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, just carefully measured and each of them, um, but I just couldn't face putting holes into the bulkhead uh, just yet. So what I found are these things is very useful. Um, uh, they, they do need careful placing, but they do work. None of them have, have fallen off so far. So I think that'd be great. It will work. And for this, the main bedroom, the Elmit room, the latest addition we have is right here. And this will proudly go take up this really nice wall area. You can see it's this kind of Velcro stuff that that just presses in and then it it's sticks very securely. There. Perfect. Great. Very nice. And then on the other side, we've got two original paintings by Julie. So we've got our beautiful swallows here. And, and I love that you've actually got this like gold paint. It's It's kind of raised. And they both have that it's really, really nice detail on it. And I'm not an art critic, so I'm not going to say any more, but it's so nice. I just love it. Um, and then next to that, we've got this very cute little mouse eating the blackberry blackberries. And again, it's got the same gold ring around it, both uh, painted and signed by Julie. So thank you so much, Julie. We absolutely love them. Um, and they are they are just making this wall so much so much brighter and happier than it was when it was all bare. We just think it kind of really finishes off the room. So thank you so much. Today Massa is out adjudicating a competition in Cambridge all day, so I thought I would take this opportunity to do some practice of our brunch cruise menu. I have a menu, but I have not tried making it all in one go, and I think it's quite a lot of work, so it will be interesting to see how long it actually takes me to make everything. So I have to go shopping, and then we shall see what happens. different things to make for this menu so I think I have decided to do quiche first. Okay. Good start, already cut myself. Uh, the peeler didn't have its cover on so ouch. So 
leeks really do make you cry as well. Um, <laughs> but I'm only doing half quantities today um, because we don't want to end up with loads of extra food. Even so, it's for four people. So I guess we'll be eating quiche for the next few days um, and everything else. But it's really the chopping that takes time, I think. So I'm a bit worried about <laughs> having to do having to do double this, but I'm sure it will get quicker. Quiche is in the oven. Yes, the quiche is in the oven. Um, the flatbread dough is rising, so I'm going to make flapjacks next, and then I've just got cold things left. So that would be the topping for the flatbread and the salad. Is that five things: flatbread, salad, quiche, flapjacks. No, that's four things. <laughs> What's the last thing? Uh, Oh, banana bread. Right, I need to make that as well. It's so warm today that this has risen really quickly. It's already double the size, so I think it needs to go in the oven. So they don't take very long, and I think I overcooked the last time. So let's try 10 minutes. The flatbreads are ready. Oh, there's the timer as well. I've just run out of battery, which is just great. Okay, I'm gonna have a guess. That seems about right. Ah, seriously. <laughs> I think I'm done. I hope I'm done. Every process takes quite a long time um, and then obviously because it's a boat kitchen we don't have endless supplies of bowls and spoons and all of that kind of stuff so the washing up in between takes a bit of time as well um, but but here we are I've done it so I will plate everything up and then show you. Here it is at long last. So we have smoked salmon flatbread, we have leek and gruyere quiche, avocado salad, banana bread with fresh raspberries, and this is a vanilla ricotta with orange to go with the banana bread, and here we have cranberry and walnut flapjack. 
that is the set. It's not going to be served on that plate, um, but that's just because we haven't haven't got the right plates yet. Um, but that will do for me. So I think it's quarter to five, but I'm going to have some brunch. Well, I'm back from a day of adjudicating in Cambridge. The food smelt gorgeous, but I would want some drink to go with it. But tonight I'm recording for a music club who requested a performance recording video. Normally I would do a lot of, or we would do a lot of these live streams, but this one they wanted a, a recording. So today, or tonight rather, was going to be the recording. Um, evening but the rain at the moment is not looking to ease and as if you if you've been on boats you know naturally there's quite a lot of noise on the roof so whilst I'm waiting I'm just clearing up emptying all the bins as I do all the time. Hey I, I emptied the bin you added to it. Well the, the whole boat there's like so many bins for a boat there's so many bins scattered around the place two bathrooms two bedrooms and the, the lounge, they all needed empty anyway. And there's, I finished that, all ready to go, and the storage actually is starting to get a bit full, so now I've decided to put this floating shelf right at the back where there's still some space that I can squeeze out of this place. So that's what I'm uh, currently doing at the moment, whilst we wait for the rain to ease. Goldfish is big in Japan, and although I grew up in this country more or less, I remember when I was probably about four or five, I had lots of goldfish. And I just always had lots of goldfish. And here, silly or not, we have a new fish tank, which I'm going to now set up. So uh, it's nothing spectacular, but another addition to the <laughs> the piano boat, uh, any excuse, is it a canal thing, fish thing, who knows? But uh, here we are, so let's get into this thing. Mm, look at that. Oh, smart, very smart. That's very smart indeed. And I think I've already got about two of these. One of them is more like a sphere, another one is more like a tube. Um, so uh, it's a bit silly, really. Um, but uh, well, I'm talking about over the course of probably a decade or two. Um, so there's enough excuse to get another one now. How do we get this thing out? It's quite light. Not too big. We did go for the smallest, so uh, I think this will be okay. Oh, look at all these fancy, fancy things in here. Mm -hmm. How exciting. Ready. And this, crucial, um, we have a proper soft water, water softener at home. And so we have these 15 litres of water. I mean, it's not bad here on the boat. In fact, I cleaned 
the humidifier today because it was looking a bit sad. So I cleaned it today and took it apart. It's not bad. There was an awful lot, which I won't show you, but there was an awful lot of lime scale, but none of them was, they, were, they weren't attached to the heating element because it's a steam type humidifier. So maybe the, 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 um, the hard scale eliminating thing does do something. We've got two systems on board. And we weren't quite convinced, but maybe maybe they do do something. Obviously, they don't remove it. But here we have a completely soft water. It's incredible. I mean, like this air stone at home. I used to have to change it practically every six months. But now it's the same one for like years. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Smart. Beautiful. Look at the way I'm holding it to avoid fingerprints. In fact, the other thing that I've been busy today is also to put this little mini drawer. So far we haven't got much use for it, I just put some herbs in there. So. Any extra shelves? Now we already have that shelf, the extra shelf under under there. Now we have a little um, drawer as well. This is, they say it's very maintenance, easy maintenance, but I still find algae. Algae, algae. Algae. They get everywhere. Oh, this fancy phantom. Look, we have a remote. And then, uh, this I'm still not convinced because it would scratch the acrylic the bottom of the, the tank. It's not glass. That'll do for now, I think. Hi. Oh! What a mess! <laughs> Fail. It's like an accordion. Supposed to be a 15 litre tank, isn't it? As always, time has flown and this week we just got back from a long cruise which took us through central London and up onto the River Lee, which is the furthest north we've actually been on this boat. So that was quite exciting. I don't think I've recovered from that yet. <laughs> it was pretty full on. It was mostly like eight to 12 hours a day of cruising um, just because, you know, we've discovered that cruising on a wide beam takes twice as long. You know, when, whenever we've planned narrowboat routes before, it's always been pretty accurate, but everything just takes double double the time because you go so slowly, um, which which is supposed to be nice and relaxing. And I, I think it was, it was very nice, um, but Massa <laughs> got a bit tired with all the driving. Um, so anyway, that's what we've been doing um, the last week or two. Um, and obviously you saw my my brunch preparation which was a lot of fun and very tasty although it kind of the weather wasn't very kind to us and and massa's um concert recording um was somewhat waylaid by the <laughs> torrential rain of course today it's beautiful sunshine so british summer for you yes um i remember when i was recording my one of my commercial CDs that it was the same in any hall. Unfortunately, if there's this sheen of rain, they had to stop and it delayed and delayed. We couldn't get the thing started. Um, so I had to have the brunch late in the evening on my own, sort of slapped things together. And it was very nice. It was very nice, but um, it wasn't quite the... Um, <laughs> The, the grand being served the food experience, but that's not no. for us, I suppose. No. Well, I think hopefully, hopefully it tasted all right anyway. Um, but we have a very exciting bit of news, which um, we are very grateful to you all for, for subscribing and for watching our videos. And since the last video, we have surpassed 1,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. We kind of did a little dance when we got there. I um, didn't, you did. <laughs> because he doesn't dance. Um, <laughs> but 
to celebrate that, we thought it would be very fitting to offer a free brunch cruise ticket. So we will put the link down in the description. And if you can sign up to that, it will be open until the end of June. And then we will contact the winner on the 1st of July to let them know that they've won. Check your check your emails, check your junk mail, because sometimes my emails um, go missing. Um, but that is that is our way of saying thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. And we hope we will see you on board soon. In the meantime, the um, I think the, the YouTube thing was very much a vlog. I don't think I intended it to be sort of like what you call it, an advert for the cruises. So it's a separate thing, I feel. And uh, we originally wanted to share the build stages and all the exciting things that was happening with the boat. And now that we're afloat, it will be more about focusing on our lives and what we get up to rather than the, the, the commercial side of things, I think. So we will carry on with the, the channel somehow when we can try to be as regular as we can. But so do stick with us, hang on with us. And uh, we very much appreciate your support. We do. And we have lots of exciting footage to share with you from our cruise we've just returned from. So we will be putting that Harrowing. together. <laughs> Horrifying. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It well, was lovely. We had things. beautiful weather all days apart from one where we got absolutely drenched. Um, that was okay. That, that's, was, that's boat life. That's... It was kind of refreshing, actually, to be honest, because, you know, we'd had baking sunshine all, all of the other days. But anyway, that is all to come. So we are knitting that all together in the meantime, and we hope to share it with you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, as always, and see you again soon.